Yo, what's going on? I'm Brandon America, and we're about to dive right into Logic Pro X, and I'm going to show you guys all the quick ways to zoom in and out and be efficient in your project. So let's get it. All right, guys, so here we are. We're in the Logic Pro X session, and you see that you can see the entire session pretty much right here. Well, if you want to zoom in, let's say to this little blue region down here, what you can do is hold on option, left click with your mouse and just drag over and let go of your mouse. But you want to make sure you hold option until you let go of the mouse. Okay, now if you want to go back to the same view you were just at, all you have to do is hit Z and just make sure that no other region is highlighted. And if you want to go right back to where you just were, you'd hit Z one more time. Boom. So if you want to get a little more detailed, you can hold option on your keyboard and all you have to do is scroll left on your mouse or two finger scroll if you're on a MacBook Pro. Okay, so let's make sure that we're not selected on a region. Hit Z and we'll go back out. Now, if you have a particular uh, MIDI region, let's say this one right here, this piano, let's select it like this, hit Z. Now you can see the notes here, but we can't adjust those. So if you double click on that, it'll pull up your MIDI region down here. And the same thing applies. So if you want to make the regions bigger, you scroll up. If you want to make the region smaller, scroll down. And again, if you just have the selection in here, you select one time, hit Z, and it'll show you all of your MIDI regions right there. Also, another quick way, let's get out of here. Let's deselect, hit Z. The top right of your window here, you'll see there's other zoom tools that you can use. Same thing, using this one will make the regions taller and shorter. Using this one will make them wider and skinnier. This is kind of a recall tool for your zoom right here. And if you don't see this on your screen, what you can do is hit this little particular like envelope looking button and that will drop it down. So this one is just kind of like wherever you were last. So let's say we select this one, hit Z and go back out. Now if we come back up here and hit Z, boom, that's just a quick way to get back to it. And also you do have a built-in zoom tool right here, but it takes a little bit longer. So you have to click here, select it, and then you know click over your particular section, then go back here and select pointer tool again. So anyways, these are just the quick, real efficient ways to zoom, navigate, get in there real close to some audio or some MIDI and do the things you need to make that vision come alive. So. Again, I'm your boy, Brand America. I hope you guys got some quick value out of this and can really apply it to your projects. So stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit, hit a like and hit the notification bell. So every time I drop a video like this, you guys are notified. And if you have any particular thing you want to learn, be sure to drop it in the comments below. I'll check it out and get back with you and I'll do a video real soon. So thank you guys for tuning in. Again, I'm Brand America. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace and love.